Welcome to a new video. So, do you guys ever feel like in Animal Crossing that you've completed like everything that is to do and you just kind of stop and you don't really want to restart your world because you're not at that level yet. You don't want to restart the island, but you want to, you know, do something new. You're bored. And I thought that I would go over some things that you can do to kind of make your experience more fun. And, you know, I feel like sometimes people complete the islands and they just get bored like completely and sometimes you know when you open a new what like start a new island it takes so long to just get started it takes a very long time to get all the materials you need and sometimes it's just not what you want to do so today i thought i'd go over some things to make it more exciting first of all i was thinking it would be good if you changed over your villagers like you may be attached to them but you know what it's good to it's good to try new things and you know changing your villagers over isn't always a bad thing because you could change the whole theme of your island if you really want to do you know just by changing the villagers you might find that you know something new something different because you've been talking to the same villagers for a long time and sometimes it's just, it's just the right time to let them go, explore somewhere else, and you get some new villages and create new friendships with these villages. I thought that was a fun idea, you know, get some new memories, have, have a fun time. But also, you can always change your island vibe because, okay, let's say for one, you have like an autumnal vibe. That's like my island at the moment. Um, and you've, you've kind of completed it. Now, there's nothing stopping you from changing the whole vibe of the island without restarting. You can do that. That's, that's no one stopping you. Or if there's like a certain place that in part of your island that you don't like, you can change. You can do tons of things like that. I think it's a good idea to like, you know, make a list of all the things in your island that you don't really like. Because, you know, you want to create your dream island. I feel like that's good point like what is in your dream island you should write down everything that you think is really good maybe go online and see all like inspiration for things you know just kind of look at it in a different way like look at it like you want to change the island not like you know you might be you know proud of it but sometimes you can do a bit more to your island so that, that was an idea i i had also if you kind of have completed the game and you aren't the type of person to decorate and you haven't decorated but you've kind of like you've paid up your off your loan and everything but the island's kind of blank maybe it would be a good idea to like try to learn how to decorate that would be fun like if it isn't your strong suit it would be such a good challenge to try and learn how to decorate that would be so fun you know look online look at different builds try to come up with a vibe that you like and, you know, you could have so much fun with it. And, you know, no one's judging your island, so you can just have a good time. It doesn't matter. Just place things and see how it looks and just make it exactly how you want it to be. I feel like Animal Crossing is definitely a more building game. I mean, you know, some people say it's like a farming game, but there's, farming isn't a really big part of the Animal Crossing, you know, game. It's definitely building that is the main focus because it's not really a levels game. It's very open concept in the sense that there is kind of nothing you can do. Even a game like Minecraft, for example, has definitely more bosses and things that you can do that are kind of continue the game on than Animal Crossing. In, this, in kind of the idea that you, it, there's so many achievements in Minecraft, there's so many different bosses, like different mobs that you can go kill like the ender dragon with or whatever there's all stuff like that anyway to bring it back to animal crossing there is kind of none of that i mean there is nook miles but not everyone wants to complete them but it would be fun actually i think that that could be a goal if you haven't completed all your nook miles you should definitely do that like all of the different ones that would be a fun challenge to give yourself to try to do that also you could set yourself a challenge like try and make so many bells like you could make tons and tons of money like that would be a fun challenge or definitely a way to make your animal crossing experience so much more exciting is to you know go and explore other people's islands going to different dream addresses is definitely one of my favorite things you can do in animal crossing because you can go and explore anywhere you can look up on the internet different dream addresses and go to them you can choose random ones 
from the game. Definitely recommend as it sparks so much creativity into the process of creating an island and it makes you remember why you play Animal Crossing. I feel like that is a good thing to remember. Like different ideas, you know? Bringing friends to your island is definitely so much fun, but also visiting other friends' islands is another thing that is a great experience. And I mean, it would be so much fun if you created a world with someone else, which you can only do if you, you know, pass your physical Nintendo Switch to someone else. You can't kind of two people work on the same island, which is very like frustrating in my experience i really wish that people would kind of be all able to you know you could allow people to work on your island as well because that would make it so much more fun like you could have a joint island but in the sense you could you know pass it to someone else your nintendo switch and i think it would be such a fun idea if like two people collaborated on an island like you did a little bit they did a little bit that would be so much fun i mean that is a great idea for anyone who would that is possible for them to do i think that that would be so much fun i mean you can create a new island to do that or you can just keep your same island and just kind of make new ideas because normally when you are like building with more than one person you definitely get more ideas than you would on your own also i would say that extension pack is one of my favorite things the happy homes island pirate dice i think it's called that recently added added it onto my game and it literally made the whole experience 10 times more amazing Bas basically you go to work and you design different villages island home which is a great concept and can really make you think outside the box on how you want to design because you have to think about their island like their preference for their island like you'll get a prompt like if the villager likes i don't know l like greenery you have to do one with greenery and that might not be your kind of style so it definitely gets you to think more about what you're designing and to design different things which can also help you in your world because if you want a certain theme I would definitely say themes can help so like if you have an island that doesn't have a theme at all you just kind of build whatever I would suggest trying to change everything to kind of have a theme come up with an idea that you like there are so many different ones autumnal summer um city vibes pirate vibes there is you can literally create any different type of idea and that can just that can just make your animal crossing gameplay experience so much more fun speaking of things that are so much fun definitely collecting every single animal fish anything you can get in the museum is always a fun goal like especially the artwork that one is very difficult because Finding artwork is one of the hardest things to do in Animal Crossing, in my opinion. But like finding all of those things is definitely a good challenge. You have to play in every season of the game and get every single one. But with enough hard work and dedication, you could definitely do that. And it's definitely just a new fun idea and challenge to add to playing the game. Anyway, if you have any ideas about this concept, make sure to put them in the comments below um, and I will definitely read them. I would love to hear your guys' ideas on how to make Animal Crossing just a little bit more interesting when you're a little bit bored.